I think that's my cue. Um, <laughs> all right, drifters, if you haven't already realised, um, we are we might have had a small skinful, and we are hey. recording a podcast because. Hey, we have things to do. It's tomorrow. your 30th, big fella. It's your 30th. It's Happy your 30th. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. baby. Cheer. Um, we might we might have more than one person or two, so <laughs> um, doing this podcast. It's more than me, Declan. So that is us right here, Declan. We are the authorities on back in slow horses, and that came to fruition today especially today oh today was today was a rough day look all, all i can say is that um we're hot and steaming right now and the horses we backed were not hot and steaming they were they were cold and lifeless because except if you're on legato oh okay hey, okay, hey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't he's don't. gone he's, he's already <laughs> gone, gone for it oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, the, that's the peak oh, that's oh, the yeah. everest of mate, the podcast you've already gone mate, up here mate. it's all downhill now <laughs> mate, i've got to get that in hey. earlier than nana that's why Drift is he's not a host of this show because, <laughs> because he, need, he needs to learn how to actually have that craft of Let, actually hey, building that, 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 that narrative. <laughs> building that narrative. Effect. You hey. bring him up, you bring him down, and then you bring him back up. Hey, I'd love to see you in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> that's, between, that's between the four of us. Mate, Maybe I'll see you later. Us, hopefully. Mate, I'll see you later. All right. So this <laughs> so it's a Saturday night and we're hot and steaming. It's hard to say you let's yeah. get this podcast on. Yeah, let's so, talk horse racing. And drift is you wouldn't believe it. I didn't back a winner all day. So <laughs> that is how I'm going for my thirties. Um but to be honest. Just a real set the tone type <laughs> afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Just a real, hey, let's start hey, off the 30 right, strong. Right, before we get into <laughs> we the do all right. We do it right at the start. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, you learned some lessons early on. <laughs> and it didn't quite translate into winners later on in the day. But that's fine. Because... When the money is made. Yeah. Where, you know, potential money was made. But no money was made. So that's completely fine. But Go legato. You know what I learned? Why are you sounding so philosophical right now? You know what I learned in my 30th year of being on this planet was you got to you got you got to know your pubs because what you <laughs> what you learn what you lose on the racetrack, you win back at the shouts because this might I say not a plug, but it is a plug. This the staff at the staff at Tavern is one of the greatest setups of all time because you're getting five to six rounds in one for thirty dollars. <laughs> I, I I challenge you, drifters, to get better value than that than do, what we saw. You know today. what? The only drifters who can find better value than that are the drifters who are living in South Australia because all you fuckers are poor. <laughs> <laughs> therefore, therefore, every venue you go to, every shout that you get, every meal that you buy is always going to be cheap because you don't have a lot of money. And that's fair enough. People who are listening in Sydney and Melbourne, you're li- cash. <laughs> $4.50 for a schooner of gold. The people in Sydney and Melbourne... Hey, a shuddering in their you, panties mate. right now. Are you fucking listening right now? <laughs> Listen to that. $4.50 for a schooner of gold. Listen up. All right? This isn't a fucking drill. <laughs> we might have lost on the track, but we won off the field. Relocate. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, oh, Hutch, <laughs> you might have got a $30 round. That's great. Oh, I might have got that. Hutch, you may have drunk too much, but hey. Hey, mate. hey, you... you you're not putting together sentences as well as you might have previously. I don't... What's the point? What's the point? You know what the point is? We also won the fucking meat tray. Oh, we won the meat tray. That's what the um, fucking point is here. Okay, All so right? okay, so this is this is the point that <laughs> this is the point that we're making drift us. So as far as venues go, the Stafford Tavern is four dollars fifty for a schooner of gold. It's a cheap round. <laughs> Uh, the fee is pretty good, yeah. so therefore, if if all of that is sorted out, Mate, I if your little Palmer was elite, if you, yeah, the Palmer was absolutely unreal, and a real Italiano, oh yeah, the, the Napoli sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like if I had a nonna, <laughs> it would have been as if she made it. Kathy, you're listening. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Where's nonna? Yeah, that's oh. for sure. Um, so if the if the shouts are that good, the TAB setups that good. If the food's good, based on the palmy feedback, 
realistically, Mate. if you're losing on a punt, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, which I... The Soon. Metro is just a boat. And it's then, just, do you know what? Do you know what? The fact, he, here's the start of our day drifters. <laughs> mm. Anthony Atkinson, God bless his soul, good friend, good friend of the podcast. <laughs> He'll never hear this. <laughs> he won't. He won't. He spent $15 on raffle tickets for the meat tray. I, I've, not only have I never won a meat tray in my life, I, I don't think I've, I've only th- been on a table once in my life that has won the meat tray. And that was when Mitchell Swepson was with us. And oh, of course we can not Of course, no. <laughs> of course the we wins did. everything. I've known that man. I've known that man. I've known that man since I was five. This, he wins everything. No, 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 no. It's not even that. This cunt will, in primary school, I would be the one getting in trouble. Yeah. This dude. This, it doesn't mate, surprise me. He is, a, he, is, he is the ringleader of all things troublesome. Yeah, he is. Of course, yeah. he, of course, he, he, turns ne- he never up. got a detention in high no, school. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, oh, one. Sure, yeah, one. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. So we have a studio yeah. audience. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, yeah. He did once. He's yeah. got it. He, he did get it for a uh, a camp. Uh, <laughs> that was in my room. Yeah, yeah. We oh, was, was, was it that? that no, that was that was me and him. Oh, and and you know English. Yeah, you know English. We got two, mate. We went to uh to camp and uh. Old Swepson's in my room. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you don't need no. to tell me about how much baby oil you had on no. that year <laughs> on camp, all right? Un, um, <laughs> unlimited. So, anyway, so back to looping back. He's still a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> we, we started the day with a meat tray victory from victory. a $15 spend on the raffle tickets, which tells me <laughs> everyone combined their luck. And put it into a big pool early on in the day. And that was all that was there. <laughs> you can't win the meat tray and still have luck but left mate, over. But mate, it went the luck's the, all mate. gone. <laughs> turns the luck's out, all gone. It turns out, though, <laughs> turns out... Unbelievable. The luck did turn later in the day, which we will get to. We didn't want this podcast to go for too long. It has already, already gone for far yeah, too, way long. too long. <laughs> all right, so on the other side of the camera, we do have Bradley, who is calling... A test cricket or a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so we I have know, Bradley no, Weston no, on the no. camera. Lucky we love him today. Who is, a, who is a friend of this podcast. <laughs> and you also have... He knows I love him. And to be fair, I was the one that got the drifters off to her. No, he, oh, he, he really did. He, he, did, did, he, did. He, got the, he got the drifters off to an absolute flyer. So, uh, and I, mean, probably I must say, uh, I think Josh, Josh Bunny, your name is. Uh, you've done some absolutely fantastic work oh, uh, this weekend as well. So the Drifters are giving us our absolute telling. But Joshua M- McClellan is also joining us as well. Great to be here, boys. Good can to we, see us. Can we bring up the fuck up straight away? No, 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 no. We'll get to it. it. All right. <laughs> so this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be different. We're going to go kind of race by race set up. Uh, let's just watch the last four hundred of uh, all the key races. We'll start. A race two. Race one at Flemington. <laughs> no, we'll race... No, you know, one that I was extremely confident in, uh, Red Resistance, last 400 metres. Not us. Here we go. Here he is out in front. Cylinder just parking down the... Uh, uh, behind him. As Never I, really in doubt, was no. he? As I said to Jonesy. Look, all right. He a, he's got plenty... The, the thing is with Red... Red resistance. resistance is that no one's ever challenged him for the lead and no one's ever actually pushed him. And right. in this, he didn't. But to be fair, Cylinder is also green as the fucking hills. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, what I, in my makeup, because I was trying to remember or, you know, unpack all the mistakes that I made through <laughs> today, <laughs> because there was many. Red Resistance, first prep. You know, he might be one behind. Uh, Cylinder broke his jaw last prep, came back, done it the hard way. James Cummings, the best trainer of two-year-olds, J-Mac in the saddle. Brett Preble. <laughs> Brent Pebble, yeah. <laughs> in the saddle. Talking. In the saddle, even. <laughs> you know, at, at Rose Hill in the Golden Super, could potentially be better suited. <laughs> I probably don't want to find out now. I'm probably wanting to find out with something a bit, with a bit more juice in their second prep. What are your boys' thoughts? Um, my hey, th- this is serious stuff, all right? <laughs> my thoughts are, 
My thoughts are you can't you can't fit, fit a cylinder into a square peg, <laughs> <laughs> a square, a square hole. <laughs> Have you been thinking of that all day? You can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't, about that. You can't, you can't fit a cylinder into a square hole. Um, now, look, I, I think they're the two best Colts easily of the of the two year old generation. Yeah, um, from what I saw there, red resistance was a month between runs. I think it'll take natural improvement, but I also think cylinders are very good. Horse. But does he also suit Rose Hill? Yeah, he does. Because of the sharp. Hutch, Hutch, Hutch said that today. Um, and if he gets a gate, he pings out, but doesn't I think, he? But I he, think he fucking he pings, pings out. He but, pings out. But I think Cylinder had his number from a long way. I th- yeah. I, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Green, as green as he looks. Yeah. I think first Cylinder prep, had his number First a prep is what is going to yeah, undo him, I reckon. I agree. Did you have a bet in this race, Joshua? No, I didn't. But I was interested in uh, what were you doing? Japan. Empire Man, Japan, I was just busy yeah. this morning, but I, I had a close interest because I've actually had a lot of futures on? on Japan. So, drifters, if you want to know, and you probably don't, but I'm going to tell you anyway, this man is one of the best futures. landers of future punts that you'd 100%. ever hope to see. Especially with the two-year-olds. Two years ago, he Stay landed, inside. responsibly, <laughs> stack <laughs> of not futures yeah. bets on staying side, and he landed a, Jeez, we had a treble up. and a... What's the other one? First fall. Quinella. Uh, no, no, a treble. No, nah, had then a, two he had, he had, three he had, he had yeah, a threes yeah. oh, and a fours two. combo going with stay inside and it both landed. He was at, <laughs> it was, he, oh, it was one of the great shit. responsible <laughs> fill ups with the great people at He was with the great people I won't be able to stand up for yeah. yeah. all time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, for, for for me, I was really interested in seeing how Japan went, but do you think he's up to that level? No, nah, he no. Uh, full I don't know. I, I full really, drop. I really don't know what's happened. Like honestly, when his first start was unbelievable. I you watched him come home, yeah, it was and, and he he wasn't like he was beating nobody. Well, he did know was, what's up. Yeah, I didn't know what's up. But well, I the big, he's up against a lesser class where those two are. And the problem is with this race, though. Like obviously, there's only five in the race, and that's not the shape pattern that he yes. needs for this, a race. A cafe, yeah. whatever his name is. Cafe Millennium was the massive, yeah, the massive grey up in the race. We're spending way too much time on this. We are, 100%. Uh, I not realise how much time so, this race. You know, with what Bradley was saying as well, a horse that didn't even feature in the race, King's Gambit going to the size. I reckon he will, yeah. Him versus Cafe Millennium looks the one of the races of the autumn. Um, but out of the race, yes, Cylinder is probably the on-top selection I for been the Golden Slipper. Mate, um, no, let's let's go to the Phillies. Races. Phillies isn't as clear, I don't believe. But We're not going into any times this evening because we don't have that um, that at our hands. You know, oh, we're is. we're not as good. So, so basically, four horse field. Facile is has been proven to be a really, you know, honest filly. She had every chance to beat every learning chance. to fly here. That's yeah, but she query. kept coming right there, right at the yeah. end. She but, came but, again. But learning to fly won. Yeah. She did. So, but at so $1.65, won- you'd hope $1.65. She's won, she's won hey, three let races. me finish, please. <laughs> <laughs> right? A $1.65 shot, you'd hope her. So, 100%. To put them away. All right, who's first? I'll, I'll go first. I'll, I'll go. I'll go to my. Actually, actually, who's got the hey, You're nuts. older. You're I'll older. go. I'll you're go. Older. I'll go to my co-host. Yeah. Okay. Um. God, you got hairy arms. So you? Yeah. Anyway, go on. Um, Look at that. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's cool. But it's a nose. Learning to fly yeah. has won three races, and she's only racing three races. Yep. Her first race, she sat off a speed, went bang. Her second race, she was nowhere to be seen. And came from an impossible position four wide. to win four wide. Yeah. Third race, she's led the whole way and fought off a, a, someone who was eyeballing her and she yep. fought her off. So she's won three races in completely different, different methods. Fashions, yeah. As a two-year-old... I'm a Facile fan, right? Yes, oh, you yeah. are. Clearly. Because <laughs> <Clearly. laughs> hey, only, only a Facile fan could be pushing her this hard. Mate, she's a good filly. No, no, no. Hey, she's a good filly. You're the one who's backing up for her, going she's like, oh, she filly. got eyeballed. She got eyeballed by Maiden. But Yeah, but she's still one. But to be fair, so learning to fly, I think she is the benchmark in the slipper, right? Yeah. Yep. I think she, personally, she will be my bet. But in saying that, I think, for, and today was a small field, so you can't really take anything yeah. from that because yeah. we've seen very good horses lose in small fields. Oh, 100%. Like, very good horses. 
So you put her in a slipper field where you've got the 19, the 18, you've got the full fields. She's proven that she's gone four wide and gone, all right, see you later. She, she she could, she's, she's won. But in saying that, in saying that, we've seen how many leaders or on pace horses, apart Stacks. from, no, 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 apart from Fireburn and apart from, what's that thing that you back, see. that you used to like? No, no, that you used to like. It won the Moya from way back. Written by. Nope. No, she will rain. No, she, she will rain. rain. No, she was on pace that Okay, day. cool. Whatever. <laughs> but how many times do you see horses you be on, on pace? pace? The, you, you have to be on pace, right? You have to be on pace. So I think if you put them in a larger field, it's a different thing altogether. Right. Yeah. I, I think that's where I think red resistance... Ping out of the gates. Will ping and he will beat. go. He will be very hard to beat because to beat. he will take that rail at Rose Hill. And he will just go. If he draws gate. Yep. Joshua, you had it you had an opinion on this. Oh race? man, I was just I was just gonna say how much can you take away from a four horse field? You can't yeah, like, no, 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 like, no, honestly. One hundred percent. The voice of reason. Yeah. <laughs> thank, like honestly, like <laughs> thank God you're here. I just look at learning to fast form. That last that She's last elite. race was unbelievable. She's you elite. gotta take that and even if it lost today, you go it's a four horse but, field. But she honestly, showed how, how much how much America can you take from hundred percent. But 100%. she showed some serious kind about her today where <laughs> No, well, she did. She did. Well, she, she did. showed she that did. she no, can no, fight she and she showed that she yeah, can. But that for seal, up. but that for seal, if she can sit on pace and go, that's where that would not surprise me. All right. This race is ugly as fuck. Next race on the program at in Sydney was the Ramrick City Stakes. So who were who were we on here, boys? Remark. No, this is no, the, the no, staying no, race. You had no. Sir Luke and Bullfinch and uh, Bonnie oh, Ezra who uh, fought out the finish. But that's I was on Athabas Khan. Oh, who, yeah, I was on that. I missed yeah, it. just, you know. From what I heard, he had like the run of the race, but just he did, did nothing. He did. He really did. Uh, Blinkers on first like time, uh, so sat good. closer, just wasn't good enough, lightweight. Uh, Solcom was probably the one out of the race who was super disappointing. Very but disappointing. I did say Sir so Lucan was, a very was good fantastic the big doing fellas, it the hard way yeah. out in front. The big fella's brother. So Sir Dragonettes, uh, younger Gelded. or younger, older brother. Um, younger. Bullf- but he's only really holding off younger. Bullfinch. No, you know but to I mean? be fair, he is kicking at a distance though. All right, so yeah. where, where are these going from here? No, it's a Sydney Cup, but yeah. again, but like it's a list. Of but again, okay, like good. who cares? Okay, cool. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. So, Lucan, you'd love to see it if you were in the connections, which they don't need too much help. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't, those got, silks don't need any help. All right, so we had economics oh, who got God. rolled oh, here. Geez. Can we go to the next race? Do you want he's to see disappointing? An, Guess who's back this horse? He's an embarrassment, this thing. Like, he... Oh. Mate, I missed a lot of the first half of the card, so <laughs> this is interesting. Oh, no, I backed this, yeah. Did you back Dashing Legend? Mate, I was in Flight Center. I got a message from Dolab. Mate, Dashing Legend just shit in. Oh, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's back to winner here. Oh. Um, I backed Dashing Legend Beautiful. his last two starts, but not in this one, obviously. Hate, no, can we get moved? I hate this fucking horse. Uh, econ- economics. Is there another replay? Where to from Front here? Front <laughs> uh, he He's an embarrassment. He needs to be gelded. I He's believe. an embarrassment. Like, he... Nah. He's very well named. He's like capitalist. Economics is a great Economics, name. yeah, that's great. Mm. But, like, where's my fucking right. money? Let's get into the big boy stuff here. <laughs> the challenge stakes. I'm going to do the full replay here so we can ab- absolutely dissect everything. So you had Eduardo ping the gates here as he always does. There he goes. He pings it Fuck his way out was. wide. Uh, you have passive aggressive who drew outside him uh, still That's take up so a position. Well. That's an And unreal. then you have Remark. Uh, who was on who was passive hutch? John Childs. Okay. There you go. Uh, and then remark. So, personally, Declan and I, I believe, uh, were on remark. And yes. you, Bradley, as no, well. No, I was on, yep. on gig kick. Yeah. There you go. Me and Hutch um, were on remark. We were, we were on remark, run of the race, no excuses. No. Uh, he was tracking the winner the entire way. Look at passive here. Look at passive look aggression. He's unbelievable. Look at, but look at Nash on, the, on Eduardo as yep. well. Not used up as at all. Hit Giga the button at probably the 300. Look at Giga come Giga home. Kick was yeah. Giga kick was Giga kick right down the outside. That 1,200, you'd be sitting there going. Yeah. Remark, yeah. not uh, up to it. No. I agree. Which which is not to say that he's a bad horse. He's just not. No, you just, no he's, he's not there yet. He's, he's the gravy this below. Was, I, w- I would say this is 
bench like at the lower end of your group one field, Agreed. right? Um, so I would say comfortably, either Remark wanted further for the, from this race because he was 1,000 metres back into 1,000 mm. metres with a trial in between, or he's just not good enough. Well, I'm happy to take the latter. Eduardo kind of proved me wrong, but he kind of didn't because he didn't win the race. He was passive, very happy with that, weren't you? I was stoked. <laughs> I, uh, I, passive aggressive won the race, which I was stoked about because I think Eduardo is done. I hate Eduardo. <laughs> I, I hate Joe Pride. Yeah. Who's, Joe, who's Joe Pride? I know a Jason Prids. I don't know Joe Pride. <laughs> Um, so for me, this race, uh, passive aggressive has proven that she, she's a good, good sprinter. Um, Crying. Eduardo still got he's still got meters in the legs. Giga kick wants twelve hundred, and he'll be hard to beat. That's yeah. that's what I took out of that. Remark will obviously <laughs> he's a good horse. No, but I think since he's been gelded, that looks like he's just sat off a hot tempo and gone cool. I can't handle this. Yeah. I've got nothing left to put in the tanks. So you look at twelve hundred a weaker race. Yeah. And dusted, yeah. Did wins. you have a bet in this race, Joshua? No, no, no. Yeah, no, you just, had the bopper. Just, yeah, the bopper. Oh, that's right. Oh, was that that? oh yeah. I just had a little, yeah, skin on the bopper. Queensland form? Yeah. All right. This next, is what I just got. Next because, race. Because wait. that proves up. So All right. After. Here's the first good, of <laughs> the group ones for the weekend the Canterbury Stakes. This is going to be a tough watch. I don't want to watch this. Uh, Imperatrez is your short priced favourite. And she should have fucking. Won. Electric Girl jumps out pretty well. Imperatrez in the gun position. Um, who's that just behind? So where's our Taurus? He's, he's midfield. midfield. He's, he's, he's jumped, forward he's midfield. He's, he's but, well. but then he's sloping back now. Yeah, so yeah. he'll sit. Yeah. He'll sit almost third or fourth last. Is that Quantico? Is that is that Quantico? Like, uh, Quantico? Quantico is on his outside and three wide. wide. Yeah, see that's Old who Flame I is on the inside of um, Arturis, who ran nowhere. Uh, Cascadian's behind. Uh, Pulele is. <laughs> Did you say Ahead. Arturis ran nowhere? No, uh, oh. Old Flame ran nowhere. Old Flame. I think nowhere Quantico, nowhere. just a quick pause, Hutch. I think Quantico is an outstanding animal. He's a good horse. I think he's, he's not a very good but he's a good horse. Do you I think he's up to that gravy? No, no, I don't think so. No. Fair. I don't um, think so. He was a chance uh, in the lo- uh, new, market new market last year. Remember? That's yeah. what I back. Yeah. All yeah. right, so we're 400... 400 from home here. J Mac is riding Imperatrice. Absolutely Three arrogantly. Out. Look at look at Purton here uh, on Artorius. Hard ridden. Hard ridden. Hard ridden how you need to ride this horse. This horse has just got an absolute give in. Like, oh. He, look at, look look at this at last him. 100. Last 50. Look at that launch. Bang. Mate, do you not. Uh, right so over. Can we just. Look at it through the line. He's very good. All right, so okay. at a pause, at a pause, has Zach Purton outridden J Max? Hundred percent, yes. I think okay, he has. Okay, 100%. so to that end, then you've got you own the favourite in a Group One. Yep, and you can have any jockey in the world. Oh. Yeah, Are you having J Mac or Zach Purton? Zach Purton because he knows he all he wants is to win. He's gone through horses here. He hasn't tried to peel out. He hasn't tried to go on through the rail. He's just going. You know what? I'm going to go through everyone. I'm going to time this run. Do you, know, do you know who I'm not upset about is cascading in this race? First up. Over 1,300 metres. I am here, happy, no, to, right. keep, I am happy to follow him. Look at him, him come home. That's a yeah. good point. Through the line, though. Through the line. Yeah. He held up. Look at he him. pulled that's, up. Yeah, he pulled a, up. I am, I am going to follow him big time. Right, so good, there, you go, there you go, Drifters. Whatever Cascadian. Good. So what do you reckon Cascadian's going for? That's a very good 1,600, 2,000. Do you think he's going for another all age, maybe? Is he going for another Donny at the top weight? Yeah, maybe. What's the Queen Elizabeth? No, he's not going. No, he ain't beating Mo. He ain't beating Mo. He ain't beating Mo. How dare you? <laughs> he's not beating the boys. Game. You know me. I'm going to find some. All right. So okay, where but do I'm going to be following him? If he goes to the Doncaster, the top weight. All right, where will to he from here? Will, 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 will he beat half cabin? Nah, fifty eight. Fifty eight. Actually, fifty eight and a half. That's maybe. a later chat. I will wait for that. Artorius, boys. Is that him done for this for the season? As in, like we've picked up the group one. Yep. He's still got his nuts. Yep. Or do they take him to another no, race? Do they take him to, to the TJ Smith, maybe? Have to take Probably him to the TJ. Yeah, that's what Have to. Because say, at Wait for Age, he's got the vict- yep. another Group 1 victory yep. under his belt being a stallion. Have to, have to go that's that what way. I, was... I 100% agree. You take him to a TJ, so it's a two-run prep in Australia, yep. and then you take him overseas again. Well, take, yeah. him, take him back to Royal Ascot. Yeah, yeah. exactly what I was going to agree with. They just need there. to find someone to ride him like that again. Well, let's get through. You yeah, know what I mean? Burton. It seems Pay like Zach Purton, what you need to do. He him. needs to come back over or find someone to ride him like that. Because he could go to that, Bradley. He might go to the Hong Kong sprint. Right. Jeez, you've, you've got a left of field opinion, don't you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's. Um, let's this year, lucky you're good looking. Let's continue the absolute misery here with the 
Are we Randwick still watching this? Guineas. Oh. Um, so they ping the gates here. Pretty pretty even line out. Uh, Matcha Latte is up there with the like Aussie ride. Kerr horse kicking up underneath. Uh, Lindemann does hit the hit. Uh, Who's the front on Lindemann? There. Sorry, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. And Zoo Tiger, every chance. I don't think Zoo Tiger. He's not up to these. I don't think. I think he's up to these. I don't think he's running out of miles. Well, I think he's your classic pretender. I'm with you. Um, well, con- look at communists here, right? <sighs> Oh, no, oh. nothing around Let's be him. Fair. He looked like he was going to win at the top of the straight the whole time. Can we just nothing I around him? Yeah, Akko looked at me Can and said, "What's this criticize? in the blue sleeves? He's going to win this." Can we criticise how Even shit this ride is, yeah. like James? Nothing around him. Communist looks the horse probably from six hundred out. Yeah, hundred percent. He does. That's Looking the at the top horse of the race. that you want to want to back. If you're back in aft cabin here, Why, you're, you're, wide? you're you're fine. Um, the only thing I would say is why did he come inside? Why did he come inside? He gets held. Sorry, Hutch. He gets because held up what, here again. Look at he's not pushing through the gears right here at all. He gets held up here again. He can't at get the through his gears. Yeah, he can't get through his gears where he's wide open. He's going through his gears perfectly. All right, so I'm not a barriers guy, gentlemen, at all. Does, has a barrier beaten F cabin? No, I think no. that rider's beaten him. No, I, I, I think he doesn't run our mile. Okay. Personally, so you think you think I think he that rides. Ride, out of, I think that ride. You me. think he's not a mild horse. He gets caught up two or three. He gets caught up two times in that straight. I think he, he would have been in the first. Gone. I think he would have been in the first three if he drew a gate. Yeah, yeah. Joshua, what do you reckon? I think if he lands a bit more forward in midfield, he he's runs a, a better race. race. Yeah. Okay. My, t- my takeaway of the race is I absolutely fucking nailed it because Ospanko would have put lengths on these. I, <laughs> I <laughs> Daniel, I could not agree more with that. I fucking nailed I, it. I knew it. I couldn't agree more with this. I think if <coughs> Thrasopanko is sitting back and waiting, yeah. I think he flies and he flies down the outside. Jeez, and I think that, he wins that. That cash thing. in your account with Ned's yeah. must be must be real good to bet with. <sighs> How good are Neds? Oh wait, it's not there because he didn't run in the race. Did you spend? He that didn't cash? run in the race. Did My you? default was to Af Cabin. I was not happy. But you, it. but you are no, right. You, you are, are right, right about Ospanko. He would. He, he would. I'm not yeah. saying he would have won, but he, he would have been very, very close. Nah. Anyway, I'm right. my balls out there. On two from it. All right. Aspiration stakes. Mate, you Roots, your balls I thought, no, was kill someone. Mate, all the time. That will kill someone. This was disappointing. Man. Roots was, I uh, thought, the best bet of the day. Yeah. Here she is, just winding up. Three three widers set the 200, just looming in, thinking she's the best thing of the day. Here, and she, I'm counting my money. She gets the stitch. Yeah. Gets the stitch. Agreed. And the stable mate just gets the chockies. Pink Ivory, who has been a friend of this podcast Previously, ran an enormous race first up uh, at 50 to 1, running second for things that are way past the 1600. I really don't want to watch this race. No, I've got no opinion on this race whatsoever. What race is this? This is the Roots race. No, I have no idea. All right. We have some things to unpack in in the last. Let's just go to the Australian Guineas. No, 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 no. We have stuff to unpack. All right. Here we go, boys. So, who are we on in the last <laughs> here? talking about this. I told you. Uh, I'm on the 13. All right. I'm, I'm also cheering for the 13. <laughs> I'm on no one, but I think the 13 wins. I'm on the thing that's kicking up on the inside, Gerald Ryan, the, the trapeze, the trapeze oh. eye silks. What a Great horse, silks. What a he, horse he was. was. Special horse, wasn't he? Good looking rooster too. He was very good. Looking horse. Very good. He was very good. Joe so, Ryan, very underrated I trainer. I think he broke the track record at Rose Hill for the... He did break a record. I'm just trying to think of the distance. I'm not it. sure, mate. I'm not sure. All right, so we're 600 from home here. They're setting a, in, an, an even tempo up Yeah, see, Barossa, I the thought, broom. had a great run this race. <laughs> and oh, did I just can't wait nothing. for this. Watch the absolute... Jump the broom is smoke of the pipe here. Agreed. Related to Black Caviar. Jar oh, really? Lay, who you're on, Jonesy, is six across the track. You know, Starting probably only only one to two lengths off him. Getting into her gears now. Getting into her gears. Here she comes. You're at the pub. Go, Charlie. Go, Charlie. I'm thinking I'm winning. Oh, right my here. God. Oh. Uh, protest, Trouble. drifters. Protest. And Westo's right again. So you're second past the post. What are you thinking? 
I fuck yeah. <laughs> I on first instance was like, "You're kidding me." I rarely back roughies, um, and I, I declare one thirteen dollars, and um, and she's been done by half a length. It is what it is, though. Um, carry on. I, I did see a bit of interference, but I wasn't I wasn't too concerned. Oh. I wasn't I wasn't looking into it too much. And then I turned around to all you boys, and every single one of you was like, "Something's happened there. There's going to be a protest." And I tell you what, <laughs> boys, I tell you what, my tyres were deflated, deflated, puncture wounds everywhere. And then they got patched up pretty quickly. And I, Look was, at like, this. I was like, boys, pump up my tyres yeah, ASAP. Here we go. Goes, Last bang, 50, bang. Bang. So the winner, third so, place so the, the first horse over the line. Jump the broom. Jump the broom, lays out massively in the last. 50 Win. metres, if that. Wins by a head. Wins by a head. She comes out. She knocks into the horse that runs third, Tycoon Evie, I believe. Yep. Tycoon Evie comes into my ho- my horse, lays her out a bit. There's a protest. A bit of a delay to the protest, might I add? Yeah. Uh, and all the chat on social media, you boys in the pub, were all in agreement that if there was a protest... It would be upheld. So Which, be let me say, what was it to my ears? Music. It was music to my ears because that was the shovel I needed to... Not the shovel. Uh, the rope I needed to get myself out of the hole because I had a shovel that dug myself a massive hole. Yeah. And, um, Must yeah, be she, nice. She got up, um, you know, and that's a roundabout way of saying... Yep. How good is horse racing? That's it. Enough out of your wins. <laughs> yeah. Thank Christ. Let's go to Mildred. Flemington. The opener was another two-year-old contest. Now, a lady was scratched here who we were all quite keen on. Masira, no excuses from what I could see without looking Rubbish. at the stewards' record, uh, report. Just absolutely nothing. But Team Hayes just continue with these two-year-olds. They get another seven dollar winner for a two year old yeah. after winning the blue diamond last week. Unbelievable. Yeah. They've been and they've been they underrated. Put away. They've been underrated the the Ben and JD Hayes stable. For for good reason because it's probably taken them a while to get going because there was such disruption in their stable. Um and it's taken them a while to get back to, you know, a, a level which is uh, congruent with what people expect out of Lindsay Park. I'll see you, Bradley. Um, <laughs> um but the good thing is they, they've they've got a good group of people around them. They've started to bank some winners. Then they know how to train a two-year-old. Clearly, they've won the Blue Diamond. There's that horse that's just won. So, um, yeah, good to see. I agree. Uh, Mac, you backed Kalos, didn't you? I did. And I didn't even get to see the race, so I'm actually interested right. to see how this goes. All right. Let's, let's play, play from the start. It's only 1,000 metres. Yeah. So, he jumps pretty well. Here he is. Uh, He's had the ultimate Down the straight. Change. Thousand meters, um, you know, tracking behind Midnight Charm, Oxley Road just does knows no other way out wide. Uh, Lincoln's Cruise was very fast as well, but Kalos back behind. I think that's Jamie in the saddle, just yeah. absolutely cruising behind. He's had yeah, the ultimate. Absolutely. He's had the ultimate gear change. Right? That's a nice win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Godolphin's not going to hold on to a horse. Especially back to the inside, that's on the lead, who's a fit horse who has been racing in some pretty, you know, competitive races against like Star Patrol and the like. And Carlos put him away here. Yeah. Yeah. There, I, feel, I feel like that's there's, pretty There's softening. more to give there. Yeah. Godolphin's not going to hold on to a horse that's been gelded unless they think it's got some ability. So Through, through the line, not as strong as you'd probably hope to see. That's a good punt. Yeah, um, but he probably did the job. He got the job done. You know what it's I mean? He's probably point. just going, yep, yeah. done. Oh, if you back the winner, you're, you're laughing. I don't know. I didn't know what that actually felt like today. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> you literally didn't. Oh, oh, this is one that we have to actually look at. We didn't talk about this in the preview, but uh, Munimek finally found the winner's stalls again. Uh, Mac, you found some uh, things that... 
actually landed for your multis here as yeah well. so place multi i was on sparkles coming up the rail here and i thought i was a great chance but min- i think the elephant Minimac was just fucking yeah. was really good yeah he was due and he just ran a gun of a race well, like, it's what, been what, up for six months yeah. yeah 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 but that was the first up run for sparkles and i think there's something that he's got more to give absolutely Sparkle, ex-Japanese horse. Um, thank you, Bradley. Um, you know, probably more to give. First leg of the quaddy in Melbourne was a pretty easy watch for the English sprint. Um, unbelievably, boys, we had the trifecta here in what I thought was one of the hardest races of the day. Um so we're looking at the last four to 300 metres here. Declan, you put this one in the quaddy. What are your thoughts right now? Shadow Benedetta. So she's been in good form, but this is a massive step up for her. Oh, and, and her last start was over 1,300 metres. So I'm good to go here. Oh, she's, absolute, huge she's absolutely exploded and, and, put, and put panels on them. And she's beat a pretty smart group of fillies. That so Paris to yours on a bad Yeah, she's, yeah, she's happy a, with that. She's first, a good first up run that. So Brad, yeah. we just Paris crossed yeah, the Paris. line now. Hutch, Hutch, I think now. we just Hutch, or just quickly. <laughs> I think we just finished. <laughs> so I back. We, we might be still going. So I back Paris Dior on day two of the championships earlier this year, um, on a, a bog deck, one of the worst tracks I've ever seen, and she last just got year. the chockies, which which Boy, showed Hutch, last year. Sorry, finished. which <laughs> which showed some ability. So she's a good filly. Follow her out of this, like you said, Mac. Yeah. Um, Benedetta, like I was, I was keen on Opal Ridge in this race, and she was obviously scratched. And the only reason why I went to her, I was like, well, a filly in form, winning is a filly who keeps on winning. But still, she was up at thirteen hundred. You know, coming from a small stable back to twelve hundred. I'm not sure if it was for her first time on the straight, but it might have been. But I don't know. Yeah. So good. This, <laughs> good luck if you found the was winner. This the only winner. Like, honestly, was this your? This is my winner? only winner apart from gotcha. the last in round week. So there you go. All right, nice. can we all can we all see this? Yeah, yeah. I can mm-hmm. see. You, all right, this, this is the, is the Australian Guineas. So, <sighs> what I have just seen on Twitter prior to doing this podcast was Jack and O has pulled up with I E P I H. Oh, so he go. has had a slow recovery here. here. We go. Another excuse. Um, exactly right, Bradley. Um, Another excuse. So. What Same we're looking at here is Maximilius out in front, mm. Mr. Maestro behind, Elkington Road, attrition run of the race here, along with elliptical soft. See, that's that, um, that's my issue with the Mick, the Mick Price. It's always Mark something. Kent Jr. It's always something. The Coolmore, he gets smacked by fucking four or five lanes. Whatever. There's something wrong with him there too. Whenever he wins, there's nothing wrong with him. As soon as he loses... Oh, there's this, there's EP, fucking ABC. Oh, I believe every word they say. Because right. I back oh, him every mate. time. So, <laughs> I, all right. I am not a, the Jonesy, only time I was a fan was that last run. Jonesy, you were hoping they were running quicker time. Uh, they ran fast obviously, enough. Obviously, they I have run fast enough. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if they've run fast enough. They have. Uh, I, think they've, I think they've pretty much run to benchmark. There is a fall here, Drifters, at around 300. Both of the horses that have fallen... This. Have been fine. Yeah, listen. Um, they are yeah. absolutely fine. Bring it back up. Japanese Emperor at one hundred and fifty-one dollars looks like the winner. Then Go bang, bang, bang! Westo gets it right again. Legato, New beauty, the Kiwi Bradley. <sighs> what made you back that girl? Mate, if you watch her, f- I think she won four or five in a row. She should be undefeated. If you watch how she won those group, well, she won two group ones overseas. If you watch how she had won those. And then how she came forth in that race where she was pretty much she's she was she in. wasn't a good thing beaten but she, she had a lot a of box, bad luck she was a box thing she couldn't get out at all she is as good as Melody Bell is yeah she she's she, a she's, freak she's clearly got a lot of talent clearly she's a freak if you put her in the same races as she gets older keep rolling your eyes and I'll smack you silly no, I'm, what I'm about to say is shit racing pattern. Oh, you can't stand that's the thing. that shit. That's like, the look thing. at this. She does All not right. lift until 75 out. What I want to what I want to draw to your attention here is looking at the replay again. Look at Bank Bankmore here. Yeah. Here he is here. That's Legado. Bankmore gets past her so in does, the straight. So look, does, at, look at her. Look. Mate. Bankmore gets past her. Bang. She eyeballs him, goes right past him, and you then know, she wins the race. You know who else gets past her? Jack and I. Jack and I. 
gets past her too, and she goes, "See you later." Thanks for she coming. wouldn't have seen him though. Doesn't um, matter. She, they still went eye to eye, as in level was, and they still went. She still went see you later. All right, so where to? Where to for her? Home. Done. Done for the prelim. Home. Go home. Come back. Job, job done. Come, come done. Back. Empire rose. Yep. Attrition goes to the All Star Mile for mine. She, I agree with that. I think she will come back for the Empire Rose, and I think she'll be a similar price to that thing that you and I backed in the Empire. Le Rose. Creek, Le Creek, yeah. That piece of fucking. Anyway, well done, Bradley. So, Bradley, well found by you. Uh, I had elliptical On in the Wednesday, race, who actually. finished seventh. You had. Jack and O, along with Macca, who finished sixth with a slow recovery from all reports. You know so he's run pretty well. Sorry, um, much. you know what the beauty of that is? His value does not go down. No. 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 From whatever Coolmore, what they bought that $13 million or whatever Whitten, it was. Whitten did. Like the half of him. All right. That value does not go down. Now we have... He still won the key all right. We have something to address here. All right. All right. All right. Oh, okay. God. The blamey. So we're alive in the quaddy at this point, aren't we, boys? <coughs> we are. Very well and truly alive. So and the blame, you, you, you put two horses in the blame. Oh, my you? God. Yep. And we also thought that this would be the easy one out of yeah, the Yeah, because you put two horses in the race because, you know, Gemma and Roy, two Valise. Surely, surely it's he's one of them. Proven his, he's proven yeah. his class. He's Look at this. Two okay, Valoo. So, so everything, should be, proven proven everything should be fine from this leg. Just a quick pause. I think two Valoo's on the downward spiral. All right. Gentleman Roy has yep, stubbed his up. toe and he missed the group one from last week. He's he's looking out here and he's looking absolutely he's, fresh. He's yeah. looking good. He's, he's looking he hot. He's deserved to a He's looking bomb. Tuvalu with the blinkers quick. back off. He's looking fine. He's going up. Hutch, see those times? What are you reading on those? Uh, they're running pretty quick time. Yep. Uh, but that's what that's what General Roy does. Yeah, it's usually tougher, isn't this, it? This this is what I kind of and I'm I'm not gonna backtrack, but I am. This is what I wanted last week in the group one. Oh, with yep. I'm Thunderstruck. I wish Gentleman Roy was in the race to get him into the race. But you're going to get that in the All-Star All Mile um, with Gentleman Roy in the race. He's going to run quick time out in front. Tuvalu was the first one beaten here. Look at him. He's, he's done. He's done. All right. The winner, Joshua. Where does he come from? The Caulfield Cup... Can we just pause this race hey. for just one second? All right. So, so you've you've had ample opportunity to put this horse in the quaddy, right? Yes, I you wouldn't would. say nah, ample. Nah, nah, nah. You, no, no, no. <laughs> I had, wouldn't say oh, ample. Shut the fuck up. You've had you've had the opportunity to put this horse in the race. Yes. If you were to ask me, no. If I had fifty bucks, no, who am I throwing it on? No, 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 cowboy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had the opportunity to put this horse in the quaddy. Yes. I you, could have. You yeah. had your selections in the quaddy. Yep. Yes. Yep. So why didn't you? All right. Because it wasn't my number one. All right. So, Here's so, so, no, no, no. So, what has stopped you in previous weeks from expanding yeah. your picks? It's a good question. To boost our quaddy chances. It's a good question. Because I've seen to you, ask. I've seen you substitute your top pick to second game. and third picks. Quaddies are a team game. To be honest. No, you don't have an answer, do you? Answer the question. <laughs> it wasn't a group one. Doesn't so matter. if it was the group two though, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's a costly leg of the quaddy. Yeah. Look, well, I thought it was a quaddy leg. But <laughs> 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 no, no, but you, I've seen you drop your top pick because it's already in the quaddy to go several and pick times. Something else, numerous many, times. Many, many, several, many, many, many several's times. being kind. Look, I'm if anyone say... wants to blame, it can blame Richo. You fucking tell <laughs> me what's going on. Hey, hey. yeah, leave, Richo. Leave Richo, Richo, get, Richo gave friend of the me podcast, a winner. What have he done? Leave that great man If Richo out. didn't say, leave non that was going to run a race here, and I looked at it and I said, you know yeah. what, he could run so a non, race. Non conformist will run a race. He'll run the fucking run the best thing in the race. Look at him. And he won at twenties at twenty dollars. He hasn't just won there either. He's Brandon. done that on his dick. Brandon, he has won that. So, on his dick. what are you going to do about it? Uh, look, all I can do is <sighs> count my chips. Hey, look, I'm going to come to the defense <laughs> of Joshua here. You would. I'm going to come to the, to his defense. I'm sure there's been plenty of quaddies that we've almost won. Where, where we've only been alive. Where he's secretly because he's, won? No. Because, he's secretly won no, because, because he's gone on to back no, things. No, because he's decided to put a $15 thing in. And we're like, oh, shit, we had that. Who put it in? Macca, of course he did. Cool. I want I want stats on that. So all I'm saying is. No. And can I also just quickly. All I'm no, saying no, is it's a team game. No. It's a team game. 
It is a team game. Are, we, are, we, we, are we the Broncos and do we drop our teammates left, right and centre? If we No, we're or not. We, or are we the Dragons where the cohesion within the squad is super high? Jesus Christ. <laughs> or are we the Roosters where we all get paid maximum and we still get away with it? Who are we? Who are we? Who tell do we want to be? Tell you who ran a race <laughs> oh, there. here we go. That's all right, mate. I'll go at, back. 200, at 201 was Rizian. Okay, moving on that? to the next race, bro. Yeah, <laughs> who the fuck is Riz one? <laughs> moving on to the next race. Yeah, yeah watch this, it again. Uh, so just, fifth. just quickly, <laughs> just quickly, just quickly. <laughs> moving Mac, on to the next Jay race. Mac, you're lucky as fuck that we did not have this thing in the quarter. All right. Last race of all the all day. All Last race Jesus that you'll hear Christ. us or I'll dribble be bending on about. You over. All right, who are we on here, boys? I was on pinstripe, did oh, nothing. He's oh, a pretender, I one of the great bending. pretenders of all time. Boys, it's our we time. Was my best of the mate. day, and all right. Oh, so look at look at, look at it's our time here, mate. Hmm? It's oh, mate. it's tracking <laughs> it's tracking pinstripe. Realizes that that thing is no good, and then it comes to the middle I'm of the track. Sure, I reckon. I'm pretty sure mate, I put I put uh, Kentucky Casanova two hundred out. This, this thing should have brained him. I did put Casanova in this third pick. Yeah, yeah, it was actually. Yeah, yeah very First true. Two got scratched. Yeah, very true. No, it was right here. I was keen I'm on thinking jump it's up our time, race. mate. It's I thought, up. I thought Pinstop. Actually, no, I thought it's our time. Look at him come through here. here. I was like, he's I got he was going bad. straight through the middle and going thanks for coming. But it's proven that he is a fucking. Do you know what coward. reminds me? He's a coward. He's a coward. He's a coward. He's a coward. He's a he reminds me a lot of I'm Thunderstruck. He is a cat. Doesn't yes. know how to win. He's also a non-winner. Like, how do, how do you, <laughs> he's also a non-winner. Thank God you dropped that in there. <laughs> he's Terrible. also he's uh, also a non-winner. Uh, Jeez, he runs a nice second though, doesn't he? Yeah, it looks real good. Oh, real home. good second. Flashing home for nothing. Yeah. Oh, what I thought Flaming I thought Flamington mate, was his track. Mate, nice who, open track. Wait, who would have thought that oh mate. <laughs> who would have thought on Thunderstruck? Coming second again. First alligator blood. Hey Hutch, you could have you could have your just desserts next week, mate. Yeah, is, 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 is your summer on next week or the week after? Week after next, right. I think. Right. Week after next. Anyway, so it's won't matter because you'll still won't matter because you'll still fly home. The for point seconds. the point of this podcast is it's is it, been a bloodbath. Is it West I will get the All Star Mile correct? It's been a bloodbath. All right, blood. I just wish I was panko. <laughs> so do I, mate. <laughs> I'm with you. Right. <laughs> But once again, hey. can we can we just wish Hutchell another happy thirtieth? It's a big one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hutchell. Skull you dream. Happy birthday to you. Skull, skull motherfucker. Skull motherfucker. <laughs> Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Cheers, drifters. Cheers, Cheers boys. boys. Thank right. you. Well done, Hutch. You Lads, made it. Thank you. Uh, Cheers, Lump. Cheers, Thanks Lump. to the studio audience. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Shout out to head of security, Leo, and head of the studio audience, Liam, for joining us. Uh, <laughs> Lads, thank you for that. That was beautiful. I moved. Um, it's probably you traded you traded all for a winner today though, wouldn't you? Would yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you traded every, you I'm really traded all for a winner. Mate, today. Just quickly, quiz by stand on the fact that Godolphin in the sticks always wins. No, do. It does, Bradley. They, they really do. do. It does. If you learn nothing from today, Godolphin in the sticks always wins. Godolphin at Hawkesbury is the best any, bird today. Any, Godolphin at Hawkesbury. Any, any provincial, black odds is a any provincial prize. track, any provincial track, Newcastle, Hawkesbury. Gosford. Right. Muswell Brook. Muscle Brook. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Oh, he's the host now. Go Goodbye, Legato. Hooroo. Welcome Thank to Western Radio. <laughs> Hooroo now. Cheer who, baby. <laughs>